my favorite people welcome back so basically because the weather has been so beautiful so hot and just mm, i'm inspired by the sunshine that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna roll with it and let's just hope it works out for the best just zoomed in a little bit more hello i've already prepped the skin the skin is ready to go so i'm gonna go in with a primer now this one i've not actually used before so i don't know if it is any good we'll find out but this is the new ciate watermelon burst hydrating primer so i'm just gonna give this a whirl i've only tried this on the back of my hand i've not actually tried it on my face yet can you see it has like little bits in there let's just whack that on anything that's hydrating i'm all for it smells really nice though definitely has that lovely watermelon smell which is nice the window is open in case you hear any background noise. That looks really nice, sunken into skin fairly fast and has a nice tacky base, which I'm a fan of because then it just means the foundation is really going to latch on there. So the foundation I'm going to be taking is by Givenchy. It's the Everwear one. Now, I'm a real big fan of the Velvet one, and which is this guy here. Really, really love this foundation. However, they have come out of this one and I went to a masterclass with it and um, Neil, who is their head makeup artist, he was talking us through it. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a shake. On the bottom, it does say Y315. Don't know if that's a shade. A little bit onto the cheek, that cheek, chin, and for and for oh no if you know how to get out of foundation stain please comment down below because i tried to wipe it and it's definitely not fading it just blends in nicely the only thing i'd have to say with these foundations if i'm being completely honest is i don't like the smell i don't like the smell of this one and i don't like the smell of the other one they both have a certain scent to them if you have used the Givenchy foundations in the past you'll know that kind of smell that I'm on about. Okay, so of course, whatever product is left, I'm gonna run that on to the neck just to make sure it all blends nicely. So I've zoomed you in real close now just to show you how well that foundation blends out. But it does it really lovely. Of course, my under eye bags are looking <laughs> nice and purple. You can still see slight freckles coming through, which is fab because I like my skin to still show through regardless if I have foundation on or not. If you're familiar with my channel, you know we like to have a little bit of a chat round here. We like to have a catch up. So that's what I want to do. I want to have a little bit of a catch up with you guys. If you don't like chatty videos, then literally just feel free to mute this, put your own music on and just watch the steps that I do. So recently your girl has been taking time out to have some me time as such because there's so many things going on that I can't really talk about just yet because nothing has been confirmed. However, when it all goes through and everything like that, I'll be sharing it with you guys. So life is really busy, but sometimes I feel like my brain just goes all over the place and then I just don't feel settled. What I've been doing is I've been getting into my crystals again. I know a lot of people think that that kind of stuff is all gibberish. That's absolutely fine. If you think that, you are entitled to think that. Um, but me as a person, I am very big on energies. Regardless of whatever religion you are, you can totally relate to what I mean when I say about energy, okay? And you you know yourself even if you're not religious you know like when you meet someone and you just get a vibe and you get that feeling inside and you get that energy from them that's what i mean yeah just energies in general i don't know if i'm explaining this very well and i just feel like when things are a little bit hectic my energy and me as a person i'm just all over the place i'm quite a hyper person anyway <laughs> which doesn't help so me being hyper and then having a lot of things going on i'm like blah, 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 blah. by the way there's a l'oreal infallible more than concealer in the shade free free one so I've been working on that, burning my incense, putting on sleep meditation music before I go to bed, which is really helping me sleep. And I've been looking at the phases of the moon. I'm not going to lie, when people started saying things to me last year, because last year I was like, oh my god, I'm all over the place. I was like, my emotions are rocketing. I was like, I don't know what's going on. And then people were telling me about a retrograde, and I was like, what are you on about? I was like, what is this? So I started looking more into it so I can kind of understand like the process and everything. I do share some of these things on Instagram as well, like on my stories, if you don't follow me it's right there to set my under eye, i'm gonna go back with an oldie which i feel like i haven't used in a while in my videos because this used to be like the one so this is bare minerals pro performance powder and you know how sometimes like you just feel life is passing you by i feel like it's only just gone to 2019 and now we're in july like life is going so fast and the way the world is as well of all technologies and everything like that it's just really important to make sure that you take up time for yourself i think we're going to go into the eyes now you know and then go back to the face so i'm going to take a very dirty this is actually shameful <laughs> i'm quite a messy person so 
doesn't surprise me my Fenty powder looks like this so I'm going to take in my Fenty powder I've got the shade banana I bought this when it first came out and honestly I kind of wish I didn't I wish I got the smaller ones because now Fenty is available in boots so right now I'm just going to go underneath my eye I don't want to put too much on there because I do prefer this just for setting the makeup in place she says she's not going to put too much and then look how much I go and put on my face <laughs> it's a really nice powder I mainly use it when I'm going out like on nights out if I'm going clubbing or if I'm going to an event or something like that so I'm going to grab the P. Louise base for the eyelids sometimes right I'll plan something and then I feel like oh that's ages away and then it'll be like boom it's, it's next week and I definitely feel like the older I get the more I'm feeling like certain pressures to be a little bit more established or have like certain things to show if that makes sense right, I'm just dabbing over that with my beauty sponge this is the NYX ultimate palette and this is the phoenix one I love this I love the brights one as well and I'm going to mix this color right here this yellow shade with this kind of warm off yellowy neutral kind of shade like I said I definitely want the eyes to be a little bit more of that glossy look so this is just going to be a background color pretty much this is going to be such a gorgeous soft glam look that everyone every one of you watching this can do it so as you can see I'm just going around and then bringing that onto the eye don't be shy on how far you bring that up don't put any pressure on your age or anything like that you know I've kind of learned not to do that now because I definitely was feeling a little bit the pressure it's a really nice feeling to look back sometimes and see how far you come there's times that years ago you wouldn't even have seen yourself being where you are now so it's always nice to look back and remember how far you've actually come we've laid down the color yes all right I really want to try this Lottie London Imogen Nation Ultra Glow Metallic Cream Eyeshadow. And we're basically just going to pop that all on the eye. Just like so. And oh my god. Okay. I don't want to talk about it just in case you guys don't watch it, you haven't seen it. But I finally completed Game of Thrones. Hmm. I was a little bit on the fence with the ending. I won't lie to you all. I felt like it was a little bit rushed in a way. And I was a bit like, meh. As you can see, I just use my finger just to kind of pat that out so it spreads up the eye. And then I'm just going in with this brush as well just to lightly diffuse it and spread it out. Although I definitely feel like this might need to be set in place a little bit. Because the cream eyeshadow does seem to be moving and separating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of this. This is the Collection Glam Crystals. This is one of my favourite ones in the shade Funk. And I'm just going to try and go on top. I don't want it to look separated. I just want it to like golden and glow in. And then I'm just going to try and flick that into all of the gold. So if there is any separation, it just looks like there's gold everywhere. If you can see, I've really brought that glitter quite high in the inner part here. And then smudged it out and let it fade out. It's really yellow, really glittery. And I absolutely love it. And it's super easy. I mean, like, how easy was that, you know? So this is the Kiko Carl Pencil in the shade 03. It's a nude, really nice nude actually. Putting that one down first just to kind of blink out any colour of the actual natural waterline. Woo, that has a tongue twister. Actual natural waterline. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Waterline, waterline, waterline. Okay, I clearly get way too carried away with that shit. And then we're going to put the golden colour on top. So it's going to open up the eyes, but then also add that nice golden kind of colour to it, which is basically going to make it pop. Rather than putting this on top of my normal waterline, just putting this one down first is going to help this stand out a little bit more. These lashes are by Unicorn Lashes. They are a part of their vegan range. I will leave them linked in the down bar. So what I like to do is I just look down, pull it down, and then tuck it into that edge and make sure it's all pressed against the lashes do you know what i'm gonna leave those to actually dry on because this inner corner bit is not sticking down as much as i'd like it to so i'm gonna leave the rest to dry and then i'm just gonna pop on some glue where i need to however in the meantime i need to buff off this baking powder i'm gonna leave the jaw one however i am gonna grab some of my powder and i'm just gonna go in and just take that bit off there it just really helps with not leaving any overcast on the skin i'm gonna grab the doll beauty highlighter this is a duo one i actually got this one off a pretty little thing i don't know why but my doll beauty highlighters always break and crumble i'm gonna go in with this lighter shade here and i'm basically just gonna pop that on the inner part of the tear duct can you see that just like so just going underneath the waterline with those colors that we used on the top part taking the glam crystals eyeliner run this just underneath in a tear duct part like so. So I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and we're going to go for the more contouring bronzing kind of shade and I'm going to take this brush here which is by Sigma. This is a Sigma F05 brush. Such a good brush. Like this has so many usages. 
usages uses ah. you can use it perfectly for contouring because it gets right into the hollows of the cheek you see that also if you wanted to you can use this for blending out um cream products you could do this for doing your foundation of course actual bronzer if you want a little bit more of a precise brush i'm going to show you one of my favorite brushes for doing that thumbs up the video if you want me to do a full face of products i've been loving because in that i can then include some of my brushes i've been loving as well i love contouring my jaw oh my god great i was looking at old photos the other day and i was like damn my jaw looks so sharp i was like what the hell happened <gasps> my face has changed so much like when i was in my teens i had a lot more meat on my face if that makes sense like my face was just fuller but my jawline was really really sculpted it's really bizarre i don't know i think i looked a little more plump in my teens to the temple time so for those of you who don't know i did an updated charlotte tilbury and um, full face video if you haven't seen it i will link it in the down bar for you all i'm gonna go in and do a little bit of contouring with my nose underneath my lip Gonna be grabbing the Bondi Bronzed by Becca, Becca Cosmetics. And we're just gonna swirl that brush in there. Now this brush, oh my God, I love it so much. This is a Rebel Edge brush by Real Techniques, okay? So I actually got this in a packet, kind of like a really small one and then a much bigger one. But this little one right here is just perfect for cheek application, you know? Anything for your cheek, your blusher, fine. Bronzer, fine. Even if you want to do a little bit of contouring, absolutely fine. Like honestly, it's such... A sick brush love it I remember before I was getting ready on a night out and um, I kept going like this and tapping it and like going bit by bit and then my stepsister looked at me and she was like you put a lot of that on she's like you keep going into it and I'm like no I keep going into it lightly tapping it and then I'll just go on and then kind of go and then see like that it was so funny she's like what do you mean you're not picking up all that product I was like no I'm literally just going in tapping what I need seeing how it looks going back adding more so it looks like I'm going into the brush like a whole lot but I'm really not okay so I'm going to go in and start to buff off that Fenty powder as well can you hear the ice cream man do you know what right he comes around the area and I can never find him and I'm like what roads are you going to because you're not coming to my road like I don't know when I was looking for my makeup I kind of thought what blush am I going to go for and I was going to go for the loose NARS orgasm blusher but then I was like no I want to go for something a little bit more affordable because you know I've used an expensive bronzer an expensive contour I want to go for something a little bit more affordable because I like to mix it up around here you know for example I did a high-end foundation and then a drugstore concealer anyways with that being said I've gone for this Zoeva blush this is the Heritage um, Collection Gorgeous just golden packaging which obviously caught my eye so they cast this as a highlighter but because it's such a gorgeous kind of blusher shade i'm gonna use it for my cheeks so i'm gonna use the exact same brush and then i'm just gonna do a little swell just like that he's doing that on purpose that is a really nice um, product. I think this would look gorgeous on deeper skin tones as well. I'm gonna go back to the Doll Beauty one. Now to start off with, I'm gonna go with this one and see how this one looks on the cheeks because I don't wanna go in too light and then end up regretting it. I'm just gonna go in and do that up. The bridge of the nose on the tip of the nose. Sis. Cupid's bow, just above here. And I'm just gonna like blend in my eyelashes with the fake ones. Do you find it weird when you get it on your eyebrow and it's just like sitting there until you wipe it off? I'm going to do the bottom eyelashes now as well. Okay, so just done my eyebrows off camera just to save a little bit of time. I am now going to go in with the lips. And to start off with, I'm going to be using a Lottie London lip liner in the shade Fleek. I'm just going to go around and overline my lip. Where if you haven't seen the video, I did a full beat look. Honestly, there's a lip liner in there that I've just discovered from Avon. Costs three pounds, right? Absolutely banging. Bottom lip. Ah! Oh. Just broke, it keeps breaking on me. Filming these videos, I make so much mess. It's a joke. I just drop everything. Look at that, it's still not even coming up. <laughs> Might as well buy another one of this, right? Finally, we have some. Let's fill in the edges around the bottom. So I'm gonna try this liquid lipstick by Lime Crime. It's got quite a pinky tone to it, so basically, I'm gonna pop that in the center, dab that out. Going to put some of the Fenty Gloss Balm on my lip. This is the one called Fenty Glow. It's a little bit more of the brownie one. It's summertime, so I want to be looking hella glossy. Going to go with a finishing spray right now. These are the iconic Prep Set Glow Sprays. You can see I've shaken that up right, but realistically, I only have about this amount left. I just have the golden one. These are my favourite glowing makeup sprays. Like, no other sprays compared to these ones. Basically, I'm going to give it a little bit of a shim shim shake. I'm going to cover my eyes. Don't know where I put my fan. Where's my fan? I'm then going to grab the Huda Beauty body highlighters. I'm going to pop some of that on there. 
I'm gonna use a brush that it come with. Okay, let me grab this before I start like letting it run down my body. I haven't used these as a facial primer yet, but I might try it for highlighting my cheekbones before as like a strobing kind of method. Then for extra impact, I'm just gonna grab the highlight I used on my face and then I'm just gonna put a little bit right there. Oh! And then wham bam, thank you ma'am, we are done. How easy is this look to create? And I feel like I'm glowing to the heavens. Like I wanna be able to move in every direction and people see the glow, you know? That's what I wanted and that's what we've achieved. I really do hope you have enjoyed this super easy glowing head to toe makeup tutorial. If you have, do give it a big thumbs up because it's very much appreciated. And if you want, if you feel like it, you might wanna share this video with one of your friends who you think will also like this look too. You might be going out to like a party somewhere and you wanna be glowing. You might be going just to the supermarket you don't know <laughs> whatever you prefer you do you all the products will be linked in the down bar remember i'm uploading on wednesdays now and yeah that's about it thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye